I am here. We just have a little setting up to do. This light is so bright. Hmm. I really don't want it right in my face. Gia. I said that right. Hi, Sarah. Hi, everyone. All right, I'm going to start setting up because I didn't really do that. I just kind of pulled everything. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Ashnor. Yay. I'm excited for a fresh mini, too. I can't move too much because I see that this is shaking. I swatched that olive in June. Hey, Leah. Um, April showers. Is this moving too much? Hold on. I don't want to. I swatched that collection. What day was that? Saturday, maybe? Oh no, because I posted it. I honestly cannot even tell you what day it is. I'm so confused. When did I post that picture? Whatever. The day I posted that, the last picture on my um, Insta, I swatched the collection. And this Manny is still holding like 100% strong. And I really don't want to take it off, but... It is time. This pillow that I don't need. We have a little glass of wine, just a mini one, and then some popcorn for tonight's snack. I love popcorn. It's probably my favorite snack and I buy different kinds all the time. So we always have these like half eaten bags of popcorn in the cabinet. So Dan's like, tonight, how about you make a hodgepodge of all your popcorn? So this is like three different kinds of popcorn. For dinner, we had a spaghetti squash casserole. I followed a recipe from Well Plated. It's honestly one of the best, is this shaking? It's one of the best food blogs, I think. Everything comes out so, so good that I make from her. Her name's Erin. I actually just bought her cookbook, so I have it on hand, um, but it was delicious. It came out great. I just posted it on my story so you can get the recipe if you're interested. Fave matte lip brand and color. I love the um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipstick. That's like my all-time favorite in the color swag. I almost wore it today, but I ended up wearing this Maybelline one instead. Hey, Leon. Leonie? Leon? I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Ooh, Cassie, true, there's nothing like true spaghetti. Spaghetti squash is great, but it's just not the same. It really isn't. All right, I feel like I need to start removing. So this week, <laughs> this week I have to swatch these polishes, so I have to use all of them and take pictures. So I figured I might as well start out with one of these manis tonight. So I get a little jump start. So they're all London town polishes. The lacquer line, which these polishes are actually really, really great. Hey, Isabel. I, I think I did a mani on my channel with one of these, I think. Um, if not, today will be the mani, but I don't know what color. They're all very spring. I like these, they're all like blue, purpley, mint, all pastels. And these are a little more pinks, browns, grays. I'm kind of feeling something out of this family. Hey, Priscilla. Oh, I know why this is shaking because this is on a box. Hey, Christine. The reddish one, the first bunch. Is this the first bunch? Pas this is called the Pastel Vibes Collection, which is exactly what it is. And then this is called Desert Bloom. Pastel Vibes, Pastel Vibes, Desert Bloom. Let me get a different box to put my camera on because I can tell it's shaking and I don't know if it's bothering anyone, but it's bothering me. Where do you live, Sarah, that you can't find them? I'm not, I'm not sure what stores they're in, but the blue and teal. Yes, pastel vibes. I think we're all on the same page and I like that. All right, I'm gonna move this real quick, hang tight. 
doing your homework. Ah. Oh. I, I don't miss homework, but I miss the structure of school life. Dan and I were talking about this the other day. Like when you're going through school, it's like there's a start time and end time and you feel accomplished at the end of the day. And then you reach adulthood and it's just like the same day over and over and over and over again. And there's really no start or end. But school, you kind of have like, you know, tasks and projects, semesters. It's kind of nice, but I really don't miss it. Hey, Destiny. Amanda B, is that my girl? School is so tiring. Well, I can't even imagine, especially if you're remote. Hey, Jill and Molly. Jill, did you just send me a DM? I saw it really quick before I hopped on and I was like, I have to reply to her. Remember to reply to her when I'm done. Okay, so, ooh, I can't wait to try their cuticle oil. I will get back to you when, when this is over. All right, here are our options. A team, B team. Okay, I have these like weird jeans on that are kinda, I'm so bummed that I'm not gonna get any better. Aw, hopefully you can catch the next one, Isla, Isabel. A team. Okay, I feel like A team is just. Let's just tell the B team we'll see them next week or something. Ooh, jealous Priscilla. Sally's is a very dangerous place, and not just for nail polish. Like, you can go ham over there. OPI, I can only wear. Desert Bloom. Okay, let's start removing because time always ends up flying weight loss tips not my specialty it's primarily what you eat it's always food if you can just portion control and try to stick to healthier foods at least 80 percent of the time that's what i always do when i'm trying to just like pay better attention to my weight but don't let it stress you out one of the blues all right yeah i'm gonna open these up and you guys can start voting White polish. You know, I've had weird luck with white polishes before. They don't always... Um, they don't always hold up very well. Okay, here. Intermittent fasting. I, I think I'm like a natural intermittent faster. I feel weird saying that word intermittent, intermittent. Um, I rarely eat before noon, rarely. I wake up and have coffee and like today, I don't think I eat until three o'clock, which is weird because then I'm not really hungry for dinner. So like we just had dinner and I had a small portion and now I'm just gonna probably gorge out on snacks. But um, I hear people have really good luck with that. Ooh, hair appointment. I am in desperate need for a hair appointment. I don't have one until next Friday. Roots are looking rough. Okay, here are our options. I did a blue. I feel like I did a blue somewhat recently. So I don't know if I'm feeling that. What color are you guys doing tonight? How about that? Let's start there, because you always inspire me and give me ideas. Picking up color is the hardest part. Oh, thank you. My hair is actually, I haven't washed it since Tuesday and I quickly threw up an IG, like a reel before this video or before going live um, with this new hot tool, which is so, so cool. It's not even that new. I remember seeing it, I wanna say three years ago. Um, and you basically crimp the hair under your top layer. So like it looks, do you see that? It looks super crimpy. So it gives you more volume. So I have really, really flat hair, but it's a great little hack. I love to tease it, but teasing is so bad for your hair. So I try not to do that. I haven't really teased as much as I used to, but is the first one a mauve? It's really kind of purple. It's called plush. Three or four days without washing. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. 
my roots are so bad though, so I have a lot of uh, root cover up in it. So when it's like at that point, I don't like to wash it too much. The mint or the fourth one. I kind of like the mint. Curious how it would look with my skin tone. Plush or mint? Okay, so these are like top content. Oh, whoops. These are our. You like this one? This one's nice too. Rose water. That's a great color name. It's really exactly what it is. I kind of like this one too. Mint or oh, someone likes rose water too. I think I'm gonna get rid of the blue as much as I love it, just because I think it's very similar to what I'm wearing. And then I swear I wore a blue recently. I don't know which color. I'm like looking at my wall. So we'll put this on hold. And I'll put that one out of the way too. We can always swatch. I'll start removing and then we'll we'll test them out. But did you guys give me a rundown of the colors you're doing? While I'm removing, I'll, I'll read them. Let me know what shade, brand, name, if you know it. I'm gonna swatch the mint right now. I think I'm gonna do all of them because everything looks so different on um, your actual nails. So I do have a gel overlay on this Manny or under this Manny. Ooh, lava, that is such a good one. Um, so I'm gonna paint over it today. I was hoping that it wasn't in need of uh, removal or replacement, so it's looking pretty good. One nail chipped, I just filed them all down before we started. But we're getting close, we're getting really close to wedding. I think Saturday will be exactly three months out which is so crazy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, now I need to pay attention to my nails. Like it's time to keep them in shape. Ooh, bubble bath with a white tip. That sounds beautiful, like a nice French. OPI, I can only, okay, blue gray, I like that. Blue grays are great. Ooh, mint candy apple. I've never seen that one, but it sounds like a great shade. Yeah, it's super exciting. It's all coming up so quickly and we've been like knee deep, eyeball deep in planning. We didn't really start planning till March. So it's been quite hectic, but it'll be worth it. And we have a lot of people helping us, which is amazing. OPI, oh, it's a girl that is one of my favorite polishes and it's from their, what is it? One of their like celebration collections. Ooh, grateful and kind. And I always feel like I can only wear it to like a baby shower, but it's the perfect light pink. Oh, I didn't light my candle. I wanted to finish setting up my, uh... how are you handling the anxiety about the wedding? There's really not much anxiety about the wedding. It's more so like I'm having a little bit of anxiety with the planning portion and then just trying to maintain day-to-day -day life and work because wedding planning has been all consuming. You don't think it's gonna be as crazy as it is, but I have so much respect for anyone who's ever planned a wedding. Um, it is so much more work than you think it would. Yes, this is a non-acetone remover because I do have a gel overlay on, so I don't wanna remove that. It's holding, holding up pretty well. I'll show you how much it's grown out. I applied it probably two weeks ago now. But gel overlays are the best. They are my secret hack to lasting manicures and strong nails if you naturally don't have one. It's a pastel light blue. Kelsey, I got it. I know what you're talking about. Hold on one second. I see it. This one, Kelsey. It is angelfish, I think. Yeah, angelfish. Such a good one if you're looking for a really nice like mint blue, mint blue, ice blue. Happy Earth Day. Oh, that's right, it is Earth Day. Well, we are going to celebrate Earth Day with a fresh manicure. I rewatch your DIY home mani when you use pretty the pink chair. Oh my God, that was my first uh, manicure video on YouTube ever, ever, ever. I think it was from like 2017. But I was like, hey, I really like this. <laughs> oh, I want to remind me to light my candle when I'm done removing this. 
I just got new candles in today and I'm like dying to fire them up, no pun intended. Yes, this one is, it's nearly white. It's beautiful. Did I put a picture up? I don't know if I put a picture. I think I might have. I photograph all of my manis and then I forget to post them or I just, I don't know, I'm not in the mood to post them. I need to just post them all. That's what the Manny fam account is supposed to be for, but I'm a slacker running that as well, so. I um, wanted to remove my polish before we started, but time flies. So you gotta bear with me. <laughs> that nail hack. Oh my gosh, the, the overlay nail hack. I'm telling you, it is the absolute best. Yep, I'm gonna show you the summer candles in a second. It's the best hack and I do it all the time. I've never done a full video on it until this week I put it up or last week. I finally filmed it, my gel overlay tutorial. It will save your nails. Like I have very naturally thin, weak nails. I take all the supplements in the world. I've tried everything and they just don't get hard. They're just not hard. They never have been, they break very easily. So, um, you do the overlays and then you paint regular polish on top of it and they last so much longer. Your regular manicures will last longer. Your nails will not break. They are so much stronger. It's just an added layer of protection. It's amazing. It's amazing, amazing. It's the best little hack um, and I love it. That's what I have on now. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Obviously we wanna use all of our beautiful nail polish colors and when you do gel, you can only wear you know so many colors in a week or two weeks. So it's nice to Spread the love a little. All right, we're on the thumb, we're almost there. You should try, if you have at-home gel, um, you just need the base coat. You just need the base coat. You can do it with a top coat as well, um, like a coat of base and a coat of top, or two coats of base and one coat of top, but I like two coats of base, and that works perfect for me, so. Oh my gosh, Sarah, you haven't broken a nail since November? That's amazing. I broke two this week. <laughs> and not from the overlays being bad, but just for me being rough with my nails, unfortunately. All right, we're almost there. So what's everyone up to this week? Anything exciting? It's Thursday, it feels like Wednesday. I've been so confused with the days. I don't know why, but tomorrow's Friday, so that's great. We're going to check out a rehearsal dinner spot tomorrow, which is exciting. We're going with Dan's parents. Everything is slowly coming together. We have to register. It's like wedding world. I have dance day. What kind of dance do you do? Oh, I used to love dance. I loved, love dance. All right. Ballet, tap. I used to do hip hop. Um, let me get a buffing cube real quick, hold on. All right, a couple of my overlays just at the bottom were starting to lift, but they're really not that bad. I don't think I'm gonna actually do that. First vaccine, yes, they're rolling out like crazy. Aw, it's nice to sit back and relax, Sherry, you know? You don't wanna have to work every time. The Olive and June brush is so good. Their brush is like the best, best, best. I love them. They really put a lot of thought and effort into those brushes and they make painting incredibly easy. Okay, I'm gonna show you my overlays if I can, oh, I missed a spot again. There's like this one little bit of polish that won't come off in the corner. See, the manicure itself never takes that long. It's always the prep. All right, I don't know if you can tell. I 
You really can't, it's so hard to tell, but there's two coats of gel base on my nails. They grew out a little bit. You really can't see it, but they're keeping them nice and strong. Emily, keep up with the biotin. It really will make such a difference. All right, let's move on to colors because I still haven't picked. Oh, we're swatching, that's right. Okay, let's start swatching. Thank you, they were so much nicer yesterday. I had to file them down a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, my oil is coming, it's coming soon. I know I say that every time, but right now we're waiting on um, like boring business stuff. I'm registering the business properly and getting all of that squared away. So the product itself is ready, but before I sell it, I have to make sure all my like tax stuff is in order. So I have my accountant helping me with that, which is awesome. And it's coming. I am i don't know if I'm gonna launch it. Like everything will be ready sooner than later, but I'm thinking I might hold off until fall and launch in time for holiday just so we get through the crazy summer with all of our wedding stuff. I just, I'm gonna be at bachelorette, bridal shower, I have baby showers and the actual wedding. There's so much going on with a lot of people in my life and I don't wanna launch a product in the middle of the craziness. So I may hold off until August, September, but it's coming. Science homework, I used to hate science. Science, I liked certain math. I loved geometry. I hated algebra, I was so bad at algebra. And then history was not my thing either or geography for that matter. I don't know what I liked in school. Okay, I just watched one coat of these three and they're all really, really sheer, like really sheer. So let me let them dry a second and then we'll do a second coat because I'm not terribly impressed. I can't find you yet. Sally Hansen Vitamin E. That's an amazing oil. Like, I wish I invented that one. <laughs> but when I was putting mine together, that is the one that I kept in mind because I love the consistency of that. I love how it wears on the nails. If you're in the market for a cuticle oil, Sally Hansen Vitamin E. Oh my God, didn't I say I was gonna forget to light my candle? I knew it, let me take a break. Okay, so I got a bunch of new candles in the mail today. I don't know if you follow me on Insta, but I work with Zeniful Scents. She's an amazing candle maker. She has a beautiful Etsy shop, and she's just been sending me some of her candles over the past, not year, like the past few seasons, and her summer collection just launched. So she makes soy candles and melts. I actually use both, but she sent two today, Seaside Serenity, which I think I'm gonna like this one. This smells really fresh. I kind of want to put this one in the bathroom. Let's see. Ozone, citrus, and violet. But my favorite part about her candles is she puts these little shells and rocks and crystals and flower petals in them. So they're beautiful. They're, they're just like visually appealing. And then they smell delicious as well. So I might want to um, light that one. This one is soothing lavender, lavender, sage, and cedar wood. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This smells like a spa. This one's so pretty up top too. I might put this one by my bed and light it. I feel like it would help me fall asleep. This is the best scent. Island Escape, oh my God, it smells like a gusher, but better. Oh my gosh, it smells. I wonder if she has a candle in this. I don't know if she does or not, but if you're looking for a yummy, oh my God, get this one. And then Current Dreams, Citrus, Black Current, and Anise. Hmm, that one smells good too. I like the melts in the morning. Sometimes in the morning I'll, you know, make the coffee pot and then I'll put a melt in and get the house like all cozy and it gets me in the mood to like be productive for the day. Um, but I love my candles. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to light Seaside Serenity. Yeah, this is amazing. I do have a discount code if anyone wants to order from her. Uh, what is it? I think it's Bella 15 and it's Zeniful Scent. Here's her info at the bottom, Xenophil, Z-E-N. 
super good. <laughs> I know, I do think that. Nail polish is flammable, but I'm gonna light it with my hand that has no nail polish on and then just like put it back there. Yes, do not uh, play with remover or nail polish and fire. This is a warning. But I just like the... Put that back there. Make sure it's got plenty of room. Perfect. Okay. Back to swatches. Definitely taking a little longer than normal tonight to get going. It's okay. Do you go to sleep with a candle lit? I, no, 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 I never go to sleep with a candle lit, but like before bed, I'll, I'll light a candle and read a book for a bit till I get sleepy and then blow it out. But no, no, never overnight. I've never done a wax warmer overnight either. I'm honestly scared to leave my heated blanket on overnight. <laughs> Ooh, that green is kind of fun. Ooh, the mint is kind of fun. I don't know guys, we might do the mint. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm gonna rely on your votes. Wow, these are gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Plush, rose water, or mint no chip. Oh my God, that's the cutest name. So this is the order that they're on my nails. Here we go, one, two, three. Can you see though? I feel like the light mint no chip. I just love the way you guys all agree. We're always on the same page. Yeah, mint no chip. I think it's mint no chip, mint no choice. Yeah, unanimous, unanimous. Okay, give the video a thumbs up if you vote mint no chip. I'm gonna watch the count and I'm gonna count. One. I see one like <laughs> two. Yeah, three. I think this is the one. All right, I'm counting yours as a thumbs up already. You guys are the best. Okay, mint no chip, sold, done. We will save <laughs> the others. Okay, back to removing and then we'll get started. Hello, welcome. No, we're not using gel polish tonight. We are using London Town's Lacquer or Lacquer. I don't know how you say it, but I do have gel overlays on my nails. So I have two coats of clear base coat to keep them strong. And I swear it makes the mani last longer. I don't get as many chips when I have a gel base coat. They don't peel. They never peel. Um, I don't know. It's the best, best little hack. If you're interested in that video, I will link it in the description box. I always have to have them on the paper because I'm gonna link the Zenifil link for you guys for these delicious candles. I'm gonna link the gel overlay and I'll link all these lacquer connections, uh, collections so that if you wanna check them out, you can. The only thing I wanna do is there's a little lifting here. If anyone's painting tonight, did you already start where are you at in your manis? I feel like I am running a little late tonight. I feel like I've just been running a little late in general. Life has been just kind of hectic. There's a couple of these edges. I'm not playing tonight. A lot of guys are just guys, a lot of guys, a lot of girls, a lot of you are just tuning in tonight. People are cooking and doing their homework. That's awesome. I can't believe we're already on the April live. Today I was looking at the schedule and I'm like, how are we this far into 2021 already? It's 
actually just my thumbs that kind of need a little buff. I wasn't going to do a base coat, but I think I am just to smooth them out. Plus the lacquer, I think in this collection, yeah, there's a duplex base and top coat, which is cool. Thank you, Gassy. I'm proud of myself for sticking to the schedule. It's hard to stick to any kind of schedule, um, but I felt that by making the graphic and holding myself accountable, I would do it. The only Manny that I might have to change is, um, sorry, I'm taking water from my cup to get some of this off my hands. The only Manny, the live, that I might have to change is my wedding one, the one in July, just because as all the plans are coming together, I realize I might not be available Thursday night, so we may move that, but I'm still gonna plan to do it on a live. So it might be in the morning one day, it might be a different night, but I'll let you know as soon as I know. But other than that, the schedule has been, we're good. We're sticking to it. All right, so this is the uh, Kerr, the Kerr Duplex Base and Top Coat. I've never used this. Ooh, when's your birthday? What day? July is a great month. My mom's birthday's in July too. Wow, this is a nice base coat. It's nice and thick. Little fuzz on the polish. The 30th. Oh, nice. What's my favorite season? Like for nail polish or life? I think in general for nail polish, life, fashion, everything, it's fall. Fall is, there's nothing like it. It's just the coziest season. Ooh, July 18th. Nice. You got married in June. How was it? Was it like weather wise, what part of the country or where did you get married? Maybe you got married out of the country. We're curious what our weather is gonna be like. We're keeping our fingers crossed. We're being very optimistic that we'll have a perfect day. But in New England, you never know what you're gonna get, so. In this brush here. There we go. In Texas. Oh, that's so nice. A beach wedding. What are the beaches like in Texas? Are there a lot of them? I mean, it is a border state, but. Your June live is a few days before. Oh, nice. What day is my June live? I feel like I tried to pair it up with my birthday. I don't remember what day it is. You're moving to LA? My cousin moved to LA recently. That's exciting. Do you let them air dry? I let my nails air dry. <laughs> I just feel like I never see Texas beaches. I feel like I know plenty of people that live in Texas and they're never at the beach. Probably because they don't live near the beach, but I don't know. I've, I've never seen a picture of a Texas beach. I'm gonna Google that later. Massachusetts. Yep, we have the same weather as Massachusetts. You never know what you're gonna get. It's a surprise every day. Or a scump style. I kind of like that base coat a lot. The duplex coat. Where is my chair from? Yeah, it's from Amazon. I'll link it. It's, um,. I linked it in videos in the past, but I'll put it in this one. Let me do, I'll add it to my list so I don't forget. Chair. Sip of wine before we start. Oh boy. I'm so glad they helped. Okay, June 16th, your birthday's the 20th. My birthday's the 18th. So yeah, that'll be a birthday Manny for me too. You give us a contract. Give me your video idea, Cassie. I'll actually be on my bachelorette for my birthday. So it'll be like a birthday slash 
bachelorette manner. That would be fun. Maybe we'll do like something like sparkly or fun for that. Summer babies. Yes, summer babies are the best. I do have an Amazon store. I usually link it in the description of all my um, videos. So you can shop the things that I put there. I honestly don't know if I'm doing it right. I just like put the things that I use a lot or talk about on there. Um, but I do have a storefront. I need someone to teach me how to do all this stuff the right way. Loving this mint. It's kind of making me want ice cream though. So far so good. No, you, okay, so when you do gel overlay, you don't have to do a regular base coat. Um, to me, I feel like the point of a regular base coat is just to protect the nail from staining. It also is just an added layer of um, strength. However, when you do the gel overlay, like there's no need for the base coat. Once in a while, I'll do one, like today I did it, just because a couple of my overlays are lifting since it's been like two weeks, but you don't need one. You really don't. You can go right into color. It's so nice. The overlays really allow you a lot of freedom with all the perks of gel. They're amazing. Ugh, I am not doing a great job right now. Oh my god, that sounds so scary. I still have yet to try Ella and Mila polishes. I first heard about them when I first heard about um, Olive and June, and I kept confusing the two because they were just like both girl names. But I still haven't tried. Alright, second, or first coat, second hand. letting this now do you guys ever run out of storage on your phone or computer for that matter i'm constantly running out of storage what happened to helena i just i'm catching her comment Um, I spent so much time today trying to free up storage on my phone. I was like deleting all these old messages, trying to clean out my pictures. And I don't know about you, but when I take pictures, I just take a million, a million, million, million. And then never delete them. I have to get better about that. I started paying for iCloud storage too. And apparently that's full. I don't know what that's about. It's all scam. I know it. There's no way that... There's not enough memory on this phone. But I spent so much time today trying to do that because it kept giving me like a warning. It wouldn't save um, pictures I was trying to edit. I know, same, a million nail picks. Hi, Leah. It is a scam. They're like another $2, another $2, but you do that math. You get everyone paying you two bucks a month for storage. They're crooks. They're all crooks. Okay, this is not my best work. I'm just putting that out there. It's like little fuzz. Get out. Oh, all right, thumb. And we'll go back for coat two. I'm gonna be honest, this polish is a little tricky to work with. I had a much better experience last time I used it. I don't know if it's because of the base coat I used or if I'm just having a hard time, but. External higher hard drive. I do that for my computer. <laughs> it's, it's tricky doing thin coats, but you need thin coats. So it's like trying to find that happy medium. If I do a thin, a lot of times it like pulls at the polish and then it looks streaky. Little dog hair. <laughs> if Lily was here, I would get that too. 
but today I'm getting little um, cotton ball hairs. They're everywhere because I didn't wash my hands well. Dang it. <sighs> Come out. Oh my god, I'm so sloppy. That's why I love gel manicures because you just do them and then they're dry. <laughs> I've been smudging mine so much lately. <gasps> what kind of puppy are you getting? We keep talking about dogs. I'm not ready for one yet, but I think when it's time, we'll be very excited. Mm. Thank you. I like this color too. I'm very happy with it. It was a good pick. I'm gonna let this coat dry a little bit before we move on. What kind of puppy I need to know? Mm. Everyone's getting puppies? A Shih Tzu? That's awesome. That's so exciting. Puppies are the cutest. I say do a purple, whoever's looking for a color. One year. That's so sweet. My family's puppy, Lily, she's a chihuahua. She just turned 15, but she's getting kind of old and she's starting to have like back problems. <laughs> You're gonna have to send us a photo. I have worn fake nails. Oh my gosh, I used to be obsessed with acrylics in high school. I loved them, even a little bit in college, but I used to like dream of acrylic nails. I always wanted tips. And I think it was my 16th birthday. My best friend's mom always had the nicest nails and she took me to the salon to get me a set of, I think we actually did silk wraps, but yeah, I loved them. I used to get tips all the time. There was this one salon in like a city next to us and they would do a $25 set of tips. That was my jam. But they destroy your nails, they're so bad. No, I do not speak Italian. My mom does though. My all-time favorite, Olive in June. Honestly, probably this, I think this is SC. Yeah, it is SC. I love this one. Okay, Xenophil, or Xenophil, oh God. Lacquer's taking a little while to dry. It's kind of tacky. I'm loving this color. I'm just not loving this Manny. It's not my, not my best work. Coat two, ugh. Oh. Yeah, coat two, it really looks like a creamy ice cream cone. Oh, I love it. Have you ever been to Italy and you have, Tristan's speaking Italian. <laughs> I have been to Italy. I've been to Italy three times, I believe. Four times? Four times, I think, wow. Um, I would love to speak. My high school didn't offer it. We could only take Spanish, French, or Latin. So I did French and then Spanish a little bit. Um, but I would love to speak Italian. I really wish it was offered. Maybe I'll learn one day. My mom speaks it fluently. She says she doesn't, but she does. Her family was all off the boat and they spoke Italian all the time. So she grew up speaking it which is nice when we go to Italy with her because she can just get us directions and order and it's very helpful. <laughs> but no one else in my family does. I think my sister took Italian for a few years, but I don't know what her fluency is like. It is, it's such a beautiful language. Well, she studied abroad, so I'm pretty sure she was pretty fluent. Enough to get around. But I would love, I really would love to speak any second language fluently. That'd be awesome. Spanish is what I, Spanglish, I know. Spanish is like so, it's like a very half and half. Everyone has kind of their own version. But it comes in handy, it really does. Okay. 
I am loving this so much more after two coats. I can't even tell you. To learn French. French is beautiful as well. Je parle, un f how do I even say it? Je parle un peu de français. I speak a little bit of French. And that's it. Je m'appelle Amanda. What else do I know? What can I say in French? That's about it. Comme si, comme ça. I took French all through middle school and half of high school. And then my, I think my junior, senior year, I decided to spit, uh, switch to Spanish. So I did Spanish one and two, which was really easy. I wanted an easy senior year. Oh, that's awesome. Gel base coat. I had two coats of gelish on my nails already, but then I used this, the duplex base and top coat from Lacquer. You've got to let me know how you like the builder, the forms. I have them and I've never used them. They're a little intimidating to me, but I love watching videos of people use them. They're genius. All right, we're trying very hard not to smudge, not to ruin this mani, not to flood the cuticle bed. It's a little challenging, I'll tell you. After working with Olive in June, no other polish or brush really compares. They are my favorite to work with. Okay, we're getting there. Do you have any recommendations for gel like top coats? Um, yes, <laughs> the olive and ah, I'm so mad. I'm so so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Hi guys, I smudged, I'm so mad. <clears throat> the Olive and June top coat is amazing. It is such a good one. And then I really like the, what is it? This one, the Sesh V. The Sesh V, this one dries. Super cute. <laughs> yep, I've got my flowers. I'm still like moving them to different spots, but I love them, they're beautiful. Uh, so those two top coats and then I and M out the door is amazing as well. Yeah, this sucks. This really sucks. This is a bad smudge. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna think about it for a little bit before I remove it. Ugh, it's the worst feeling. It's the worst feeling when you smudge because it just holds up the whole rest of the manicure. And I just flooded this cuticle bed. Guys, I think it's the wine. Anytime I have wine, I just do such a bad manicure. <laughs> I guess I can use the cleanup brush after, but sometimes it's just so much polish, you've got to get it out of there sooner than later. Yikes. It's so frustrating. It's the most frustrating thing, especially when it's bad like that and you can't just you know, lightly cover it up. No, I've got to, I think, remove that whole nail and do it over. Mm. It happens all good. What you gonna do? Ooh, the Olive and June remover. That's a good idea. Me too. I have to remove the whole nail. There's just no salvaging this. It's a deep wound. That's a tough cut. I have to see if I have a remover pod handy because I think it might be in the closet and there's no way I can dig it out. I'm gonna be honest, as much as I love this color, it's a little streaky to work with. Which kind of stinks, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Yay, they look really good. This is a fun one. Good pick. You guys did a good pick. That's smart. I think I'm gonna start doing that myself. Let me see. There should be one in this drawer, and if not, there it is. Let's see if it's dried out or not. Sometimes they fall. 
over and then get dry. I don't think there's any polish in here or remover. That's disappointing. We're gonna be very careful. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one that's already used. Pump it. Start over. Dang, depressing, depression, depressive. I know I was thinking of a pouring it in the container, but then I have to take the lid off and I feel like that could get messy. <laughs> to make nail polish less sticky, like thick and tacky, or they sell um, polish thinner that you can add to make the polish less um, less tacky. Yeah, I'm gonna refill it later when my nails are dry, but I'm definitely going to keep that on hand. Okay, back to the beginning. I don't think I'm going to do a base coat on this because now I'm lazy. We're just going to go right back into color. I don't know why this just randomly crossed my mind, but has anyone seen Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker? And if so, what do you think about them? I think I just thought about her nails for some reason. She always has the nicest manicure. I actually follow her manicurist on Insta. She does such nice work. Thinner is a great little hack, totally. If you're trying to save a polish. Some polish is just, I don't wanna do that again. Some polishes just get thick and clumpy very easy. I don't know how I feel about them either. And I used to be a huge Travis Barker fan, like more of a Travis Barker fan than I was a Kardashian fan. Um, who was her manicurist? I don't know her name off the top of my head, but if I find it, let me write it. I'll put it in the description. Oh, I forget her. I want to say it starts with an S court Manny, but she does a ton of celebrities. She does a really, really nice job. Yeah, she's always got the nicest manicure. They actually have really nice hands and nails, the Kardashians, I think. I love Kim's because they're always natural. Very, like every once in a blue moon, she'll throw on some tips for long nails, but she always says how much she loves her short nails, but she rocks them. They're always very clean, perfect little Manny. And Kris Jenner actually has really nice nails as well. They've like perfected the short, round, square, squoval look. Um, I don't know, I think they're a great, uh, great Manny fam. <laughs> they always pull them off. Kylie's nails are always way too long and I feel like Chloe's are always way too long too. Kendall has really nice nail beds, I've noticed. She's got those nice like long skinny fingers and really nice nail beds. Nail beds are like such a gift. If you have nice long nail beds, I am jealous of you. Very jealous. My nail beds are super short. So for my nails to look long, they actually have to be quite long. But if your nails, if you have like nice nail beds, they don't need to be long at all. Um, I'll find their manicurist and I'll link it in the the description box. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but she always pops up in my feed and like the other celebrities that she does. I think she does, of course, Addison now. I'm sure like Courtney hooked her up with her. That's an, another interesting pairing coming out of Courtney Kardashian. Her and Addison. All right, top coat is done. We're gonna go back in with a second. This is a long mani, I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys still have a lot of homework to do. <laughs> homework or cooking or whatever activities you're up to, because not going as quick as I thought it would. 
I'm dying to watch something good. After I finished Murder on Middle Beach, that was the last thing I watched that was just super interesting. I've been watching Schitt's Creek on and off, which is funny, but I have to be in the mood for that. I like a good true crime doc. Almost there. I love top coat time. Oh, I just like finishes. Go look. Every time I finish one of these um, lives, I want to just go like curl up and watch a movie and get cozy, but I'm always so tired by the time they're over. girlfriend oh my god I totally forgot so I met one of my girlfriends from college this week and she just started working with this company called hot scream it's basically like spicy ice cream and she gave me two pints that are in my freezer and I am dying to try them I totally forgot they were in there maybe I'll try them tonight but I really wanted to make like a tiktok or a reel doing a first impression because I love spicy stuff um and maybe I'll do that tonight. Hmm. Just realized. <laughs> okay, we are almost done. We need two more top coats. I don't know what is happening in the chat. Who is Remus? Get out of here. Remove. I'm getting rid of your report. I don't even know what that means. Goodbye. I didn't even know I could report. That was the first person I've ever reported. How do I get moderators? I know, it's hard to do a live by yourself. I like when I have someone else doing it with me because they could kind of read and monitor. Um, I don't know who that was, but I just reported him and hopefully they're gone. But I don't want people spamming the chat with any of their like weird grossness. Not that that was necessarily gross, but you never know who's gonna like pop into these things. It is hard to pay attention but sorry about that guys yo get out of here goodbye Rema I don't know who you are and you made me smudge my middle finger <laughs> how appropriate okay I put them in timeout and then removed them or hid them from this thing I don't know what that was. That was weird. Go away. You're not welcome. <laughs> Hopefully they don't come back. Okay. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs> if anyone was painting, where are you on your mani? Are you done? Are you hanging in? I think mine's done. My fingers are super dry though. I really want to moisturize, but they need to properly dry first. And I could use a good cleanup brush, but I think I'm going to do that off camera because these feel like they have a ways to go. So here it is. I feel like you can't see the color very well. This light is pointing the other way. Oh my God, that's so much better. Should have moved the light ages ago. Thank you guys for reporting. That was weird. This is so fun. What a great summer color. Mint, no chip. I know, we all know who the real people are in this chat. I don't understand where spammers and bots come from and how they 
how they just in, infiltrate like that. It's kind of scary and weird. My favorite gel brand is Gelish. I'm just a Gelish diehard. Yay, Sheila! Regular manicures really will help your nails just grow and stay looking nice and strong. It really does. Patience you have because I cannot with painting my nails. It's hard. It really, it can be challenging. Like tonight's mani didn't come out that nice. Also, I had to cut my nails or file them down before we started. So they're a lot shorter than they were. So it's not like my favorite mani, but I, I do like how they came out. Let me, I'm gonna snap a thumbnail real quick because I didn't do that earlier. I'm gonna put our snacks here. I like the lacquer polishes, I really do. For some reason, this one was a little streaky. Like two coats was fine, but I don't love it as much as I loved my last lacquer Manny. But London Town has a lot of different lines. I do wanna keep trying them. Yeah, this is a great, really great green. It's super fun. It reminds me of ice cream, 1000%. Maybe Sherbert, but it's a great color. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be weird for two seconds. <laughs> the April Showers collection was so, so surprising to me. I was like, there is no way I'm gonna like all these grays. Grays are really tricky on skin tones too. Like, I don't know, lighter grays look awful on my nails. It looks like concrete, but I kind of loved all of them. I loved all of them. I really liked the darks and then the light ones as well. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, I'm gonna take a thumbnail real quick, so. The weirdest part of YouTubing is trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> but I always forget, so I'm gonna have to get used to it. Okay, they're still kind of tacky, I don't know. They're, these are gonna take a while to dry tonight, I can tell. Oh, that's okay, I have nothing else to do but eat my hodgepodge bowl of popcorn. It was really bluish, and then the other one was really green. Not, was it, not what I was expecting at all. I love the red. Red polishes are my favorite. Reds and pinks. But we're just trying to get a little creative and out of the boxes here. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donut Manny. I think the Dunkin' Donut Manny, Manny will go down in history as like one of my most popular Mannies. Everyone really liked it. And then Olive and June was like, may we repost this? I'm like, yeah, if you want to. Mm -hmm. Lighter polishes can be super streaky. Yes, please tag me in your manis tomorrow. Red is my fallback color. Me too. Well, no, it's really mauve. Mauve is my fallback, but. The Duncan Manny was a good one. It was great for the laughs. It was great for the memories. Was that my last live? I think it was. Oh my God, that seems like so much longer than a month ago. Probably because I've had so many manicures since then, but. Tonight we kept it simple, we kept it boring. We are just a beautiful plain pastel and I'm A-OK -okay with that. Next month is May. I'm gonna have to get a jump start on thinking about what I wanna do there. I wonder what day that one is. I don't know. All right, I probably should clean up and get ready for bed, but this was fun. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. I appreciate you taking some time out of your night to hang out with me and paint your nails or just watch. It's awesome. I really like these lives. They were, it's crazy to think that like a year ago we started them. I think I started last March. It was right at the beginning of quarantine. And here we are. They are just a regular part of our life now, but I appreciate you guys hanging out. It was awesome. I'll be sure to get all those links up and live for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you tuned in tonight and please send me pictures of your manicures tomorrow so I can repost them. Send them to at the Manny fam. They just don't get as lost over there. Or you can send them to my personal, but I'll probably repost them over there. And I think that's it. 
So thank you, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. Tomorrow's Friday, thank goodness. And um, I will see you all in May. <laughs> all right, good night. Bye.